What did I, how did I say? Over under. Over under, that's an over under. Oh, Woo! look. Look at that. That was yummy. Cookie cake. A, Kim a Kimber Bella's cookie cake. I know. Mm. That is, the lady said to me, what's a Kimber Bella? What's a Kimber Bella? <laughs> and you had to explain it? Yeah. That's so cute. That when I was checking out, she asked me to. Oh, that's funny. What's a Kimber Bella? Only certain people know what a yes. Kimber Bella is. is. We're on? Yeah, you're on. Oh, we're live. Oh, oh, oh look at that. We didn't look, know. We're getting some okay. Hi, cheers. guys. How are you? Welcome to Gloria Horn. This is Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It is Wednesday. It is our Kimber Bell show. We have a special guest, and this is Luann. Hello. Uh, say hi, Luann. <laughs> and uh, she's one of our customers, and she is a huge Kimber Bella fan. She is the one that brought us that cookie cake. So we are all excited. Uh, she's going to do some sewing today. She's going to actually learn how to do one of the rope bowls. So we asked her to come in, and she came in to help us sew. So um, we're going to look at these. I mean, are they gorgeous or what? So I love these the one bowls. girl, uh, Carol, that works here, she made these. Are they absolutely stunning or what? This one is so pretty with the uh, embellished flowers. I mean, these are these the projects just go on and on. These are yes, just so, so good. Pretty. These are the um, felty friends, felty funds from uh, three tier tray from the Easter three tier tray. You can glue one of these on right there. Look at how cute that embellishes these bowls. The one that Carol used was from Spring Showers. Yes, that real pretty one. That is so wound tight. It's just a really really good flower. So if you bought Spring Showers a couple years ago, you have these designs. Um, I think on the back, that. I think right if, up there. let's lay it right here and I think PJ will get in on it. Sure. That is um, a, a bunch of these flowers that Carol used that you get the designs in here and look at how cute they are. He'll zoom in on that. It's just so good. But you can also buy the embellishment kit for the CD that has the leather and the little wooden buttons mm -hmm. and it has little wooden uh, beads. It has tassels. It's just really, really cute stuff. Mary Lou did one with ribbon. Hello, ribbon. We're going to show you a little bit of how to finish these today. Look at that camera shot. Is he good That's or good. what? I know. Uh, and yeah. next week we're doing the spa day. Yeah, okay. so good. There it is. So we're going to show you guys how to make one of these today from the Happy Place CD. Uh, next week we're going to do our day at the spa, these three items. So that's going to be fun. But let's get started because we have some tips to show you oh. about doing the base. And this one is the large size. Yeah, there's an 8 by 12 and a 5 so by 7. Sunshine. And then this one is the smaller, smaller size. One. But if you put this in your machine, which we're going to show you now, you can make it any size you want. That's right. In fact, I kind of like blew mine up a little bit just so I could fit this piece of fabric in here because I wanted it to say all the words and be on here. So this is kind of like a 6 by 6 or something. So you can blow it up for sure. Um, but we're going to show you over here at this machine first. We're going to use, Luann's going to use a six by six hoop. Okay. And we are using uh, medium cutaway in here. That's what they call for. You can use no show, but we're using medium cutaway in this one. So we're going to go into our happy place uh, USB stick. We're going to go into our format. 
and then I'll make this big. Okay, so now you'll see all the embellishments for the leathers are on here. All the sizes for five by seven are on here. And then all the sizes for the eight by 12 are on here. So what we're gonna do is have her do the um, five by seven. I think we wanted this one. Okay, and we're gonna hit set. But we don't want to sew all of that med medallion stuff. Mary Lou's gonna sew that on the big one. We are going to just do fabric only, but we need the background design to make the base. So you hit embroidery, we hit layout, and we hit no Back sew. Up. Back oh, up. Return. Now hit edit. Yes. Now this little button down here. Yep, that's right. No sew. We do not want to sew this one. Do you go through each one? I didn't, I didn't bother those because those are the applique and yeah, okay. That one's the first one. So you hit that one. We don't want to sew that one. We do not want to sew this one. And you could see in the window which one it is. And you could just take this out. And then that way we want, we don't want that one. That's the last one. We do want that one. Okay. And then we hit okay. And then we're going to hit embroidery. And we just took out all the steps that were embroidery. And now we just yep. have the base so slick yeah, it's it so slick I know and it just doesn't show so okay so, so um Luann's gonna sit down here and we're gonna kind of guide her what to sew go ahead and put your hoop in first again we're using the six by six hoop and then we're going to do a placement stitch directly on the stabilizer who's commenting Katie Marie says hi Lulu oh, that's, that's you funny. oh okay cool. we got a Lulu that's so funny Okay, good. All right, so go ahead. We've, we've uh, loaded up with cream thread because that's what we're going to end up using on the rope anyway. So go ahead and do a placement stitch directly on your stabilizer. And then we gave you two layers of the shape form. Is that what we call it? Shape? Yeah. I keep forgetting what it's called. Shape form, shape flex. Yeah. Shape flex, maybe. No, I forget. Um, it, oh, there it is. It's called shape form. Oh, shape form. Shapeform. Okay, so you're going to use two layers of shape form. That's kind of like this hard... Paltexy kind of crisp stuff. They want you to use two layers. So now you'll place both layers and center it on top of that. And then you'll do a stitch and tack it down. And Luann's made a ton of Kimberbell stuff so she knows how Kimberbell operates. <laughs> Katie from the villages says, hi guys. Oh, there's my village people. We got you in for our event. Yay. <laughs> They're all coming up to see us. Okay, it will go around it twice because it's a tack down. And then I'll trim it for you because that's what I do. This one? Kathy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was looking for this. We got a big audience. You must have like a fan club out there. <laughs> that's, <not everyone. laughs> that's right. Okay. So. Now we're just gonna trim both layers. Now if I, I found it easier just to trim one layer at a time. So I'm just kinda of gonna do it really. Well, they, they actually tell you to do it that way too. Yeah, so. one layer at a time. You kinda of just wanna turn your hoop as you go. This stuff is thick. I'm using the big purple scissors on it just because you wanna, and be careful not to pop it out of the hoop. We don't need any tragedies on Luann's first day. <laughs> okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It, as long as it's not my fault. Exactly. It is hard to cut, but you just want to get in there. And some people like their snips. You can use your snips. And then some people like to do it with the scissors. I find it easier just to use these scissors. Okay, the next is going to be a placement line right around here, the same circle oops, for your fabric. So go ahead and put that in and do a placement line for your fabric. Now at this point you would probably put a piece of white fabric if you're going to embroider something. Right. With right. shape flex on the back of it. Yes. Because that's what you'll be doing on yes. the medallion. So again, we're doing the five by seven size over here. Mary Lou's gonna do the eight by 12 size over there. So we'll show you both. That's why we thought we would have this like rocking out a couple machines. 
And I put the Shape Flex on that too, because I thought oh, it would perfect. just be better as a base. Okay, so this is the fabric, and she, she put Shape Flex on the back of the fabric, which you would do if you even did white fabric. So Luann's just gonna center that over that, perfect. And then go ahead and tack it down, and you're not gonna trim this fabric. We do have the expansion pack too, and we you will do. see it later. We have it in the house. You can ship it out today. It'll go around it twice because it's tacking it down. Now, if you wanted to add like a monogram or something, I did do a monogram on um, one of these for a wedding uh, last weekend. My sister-in-law was going to a wedding. She said, will you rock me out one of those? And I, I did put their last initial in the middle. Um, so you could do anything you want on these if yep. you want or use one of the designs on the CD. Okay, now it should be the last stitch. We only have yeah. one more left. Okay, so it's going to be our backing fabric, and you kind of lay it on there like a mug rug. You're going to lay the fold right up top, that's correct, and then the fold down below. Yep, those folded ones, it tells you how to prepare your backing pieces, and just remember to either tape it in place or hold it in place when it goes over that little button so your foot doesn't get stuck. If oh. it gets stuck, you can do one step at a time, oh. remember that. They do suggest taping, but... Right. Holding is okay, too. You just have to be careful on the one side. Okay, why don't you stop that and then, yeah, hit one, hit the button and just hold it in until it goes over. That's what Luann does because we love that baby lock button. One stitch at a time. If you hold in that start button, get over those hazard areas and you are good to go. Now it'll go over twice, tacking it down, and your base is going to be done. Oh, nice. Uh, and Darlene says that that these should come with a warning that they're addictive. They, okay, Darlene, yeah, we got her hooked on it. She's making the over under, she's doing all kind of fun things. Yeah, I. that just is a very good- I love that, where you can do that. Yep, just to get through those items yeah. instead of, um, okay, so now we're done with that and we're going to use our pinking shears. And I'm gonna, you can pop it out of the hoop, you can do it, yeah. and you can trim around it. And then we're gonna go over to Mary Lou's machine a while while you're trimming. And we'll get started. And we'll get her started on her medallion and then we'll be back to get you started on the rope bowl. Sounds I usually good. turn that over and um, and trim it oh, okay. so it's easier to yeah. see. And you wanna trim it like an eighth of an inch away from okay. all that. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here and we'll be back, Lou Ann. <laughs> Okay, Mary Lou's going to load the medallion in on the 8 by 12 size. Right, 8 by 8. But we're using the 8 by 8 hoop. Oh. It's 8 by 12. The so well, that's what they call it, 5 by 7 oh. and 8 by 12. But we're going to do 8 by 8. People would have an 8 by 12 machine. Correct. So we're going to go here, go into PES, and we're going to look for the medallion. And we want... Yep, that's all. The one that says Mandela Base because the other one is just the design. So we're gonna set this. Mary Heckman, it is across the street from the South Hills Village. It's like five minutes from here, the uh, 10 minutes from here, the Crown Plaza. Very close to our building. And just like we did with Luann, we're just gonna do the placement, placement stitch for our eight by eight. Two I think layers. we cut these nine by nine. Right. And I am using no-show stabilizer because I messed up when I hooped no, it, but I think I did this before. I I've use no-show on mine at home. Uh, they say a medium cutaway. Okay, yes. no-show is a cutaway. So it might be a little light, but we use medium cutaway in Luann's. We're going to use no-show Mary Lou's. We'll let you know if there's a difference, but I think it's going to work just fine. Probably in the turning of it. Okay, so the next thing is I'm going to place this shape form. Yes, Mary Heckman, you can sign up on comments sold. I like to try and make it even. Linda, we'll check into that. Steve was on the phone with them this morning. South Hills Village is right on Fort Couch Road in Bethel Park. Um, about 10 minutes from our store. No doubt Mary Lou's going to want me to trim for her. 
Yes. You can flip that a while and get it all nice and flat. Did you get rope made for? Not oh, yet. I have to cut okay. it for her. I'll go cut it. So we're going to show you in the directions. Okay, so the CD comes with a PDF that you can print out, make a handy dandy little folder like we did. Look at that. You ready? And again, if you want something um, bigger or smaller, you can size these up to 20%. It's not going to change, distort them at all. Okay. One thing while you're cutting while I'm that. trimming, PJ, if you could show them that page. This is really informational. Is that going to be okay? Can you mm -hmm. see that? This explains the different size of the bowl and what you want to do. This, this one is for a short one that you're only going to do two inches. It tells you how many um, feet, or it does tell you feet here if you're doing a five by seven or an eight by eight. And it gives you directions of the, the rows, how many rows you're stitching, if you're going to do the, the um, wrap around fabric. fabric. You're going to do handles. Right. So we're going to, that's right, we're, but we're not going to do that this time. So here we're going to go, I think we're going to go between the short and medium for Luann. Okay. And it says I either need 35 feet or 40. So I'm, okay. give her 40. I might, I'll give her 40 feet. So I'm going to cut this rope. 40 feet, because you want it to be the size you need because when you're wrapping it with fabric, you have to stretch it out, make sure it stays straight rather than crooked. So I'm going to go measure 40 feet of okay. rope for you. I, should, I wanted to show it before. Uh -huh. Maybe a, where I'll shall I get? I'll watch your trim. <laughs> Let me see if I can do this. One. Okay. So I just trimmed around both layers, and now we're going to go do a placement stitch around for the fabric. Forty-eight inches is four feet, right? That's how well I know my. Yeah. Mary Lou has her fabric four. all ready to go. <laughs> the white background because she's going to embroider on it. She has her shape flex ironed Eight. on the back of it, and she's going to put a real pretty medallion. Oh, she's using variegated. No, or is that for your? That's for stitching. Gotcha. She's got her threads all laid out here, and they look beautiful. This is a very pretty design. It takes 23 minutes to sew the whole thing. So we'll get her started, and then we're going to go back to um, Luann and get her sewing. Okay. I guess I should have done this ahead of time. So this is going to be right over the center of that. And then we're going to tack it down. These are so fun. Now, again, you don't have to make a base like we are doing from the Kimberbell CD. You can start with the rope. Mary Lou will show you some of those, but we like the base better. <laughs> You could embroider on the rope base if you're not. That's right. They have some that mm -hmm. they do embroider on the rope base. Yeah. Okay. Remember that Megan Trainer song? It's all about yeah. the base. <laughs> 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 we should play that. <laughs> okay. So I think what we want to do is press this first. Okay. Well, no, I've got to go there. There's the iron. Do you want okay. to? We want to show how we're going to pull that down and take out the insides. Yeah. So, so while Kathy does that. Okay, so Lu Luann flipped hers. So we have it all ready to go. This is going to be the base, but you want to make it flat. So we're going to just kind of play with this and make sure that we can get this fat flat. Hold that. Right, so we have it ready to go. This is why you need a Kiwi. Next to you, so you could just turn over That's here right. and iron. <laughs> okay. So then the next thing that we're going to do, so we might as well come this way, is they have you take the core out. 
Yeah, you're going to have to zoom in on that. Yeah. So you just peel that rope back and you hold on to the core and you pull. I'm pulling a little bit more than an inch, but they say pull up an inch. Let me get, I'm sorry, let me get these scissors. Sorry. Here we go. I'm going to take that off. And then you're going to pull this. And just keep, yep. And you pull it past. So now that part is flat. See how flat that is? Get you all ready to sew. It's going to be easier with this off because you're going to go around. Then the. Can you see that that's mm -hmm. thin right there? Now, they do say you can use, um, like, fray check and put it on the end. I guess that's to help it from coming un undone because it is woven. But the next, oh, before we do this. They hit sewing. We're going to do this. Yeah, we're going to go over to the hot glue gun. Nope. First, we're going to measure. We're going to do this right in the center. Oh, she is. Okay, you're going to go to, I believe, a zigzag, and then we're going to look in the book, and it's going to tell us. Where can we get? Where shall I go to do this? Here, you want me to get out of your way? No, no you're no, fine. No, I would go over there. here by the glue gun because you're just going to. How about if I do it right here? So here's your. And I'm going to get my pen. Set the sewing machine wide zigzag stitch 4.5 right here. long stitch and 3. So this one, we're going to show this on camera in a minute. Okay. They want you to go and figure center. So center on this is about, we're going to go 2 and a half inches. And, and you have a white bobbin in. That's going to match your top. Okay. That's fine. And this goes down the center at about two and a half inches. Oh yeah, they do have you do this in the book. So that we try to like to show what goes on yeah. in the book. And then you do it again. But I don't remember, Kathy, if you'll look at it, what it tells me. I have the, the letters that I'm, I think I do top and bottom, left and right, I think. Top, bottom, left, right, yep. Okay. Look at her remembering that. I'm trying to remember that. And again, two and, like this. Okay, so I've I've put paper. Okay. And I'm gonna look at the back so I have it right. Okay, so just because I'm looking, the top is going to be this one where this is out. So this is the top. This is the bottom. And I'm left, right. Okay, this would be the left side. They did have a parrot at South Hills and Village. At <laughs> do you remember right in the middle? Yes. <laughs> Somebody just mentioned that. And that it's has hysterical. to do with when you're attaching your rope and you're adding the, um, the fabric to it, it tells you where to stop. Their directions are amazing. So we're at this point. Now we're going to go to the glue gun. To the glue gun. But you have the ends. You showed them the end. Yeah, and you I peeled have it back. flat. Okay, so come on over here, and this <laughs> is what they tell around. us to Sorry, do. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Poor PJ. <laughs> so this one you're supposed to put all the way over here in the. I know. Which is a lot easier than I the right side, all the way over. So that's flat, and it tucks right in there. And then you're going to glue it. Hot glue gun. Yep. So this, was, this is when I like two people. Kathy, remember? Yeah. Because then I go like this and shoot it in there. And then you don't burn your fingers. Just, just a little bit of glue in there. Okay. That should be good. Don't burn your fingers. Yeah, I will. I know. I'm going to burn my fingers, which I did. <laughs> yes. Yes, ow, ow. Because I probably should have like a pointer or something. They make it look so easy when they do it. Yeah. But it just goes in there flat. Yep, and, and tuck it's it flat. over. It's flat uh -huh. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I put a lot of glue in there. I didn't mean to put that much in, but. Okay, so we're, we're ready to sew now. Okay, so now. Can you leave it started? Yeah. Oh, you're going to have me started? 
Yeah. Well, just because you have to set this on the screen. Oh, okay. So they have you in the book, they have directions of what size zigzag. So you go to your sewing screen, you're going to hit the zigzag, which I believe is number 10. Did I hit the right one? Yeah. Okay. Then they have you change the width and the length. I think it's 4.5 and 3. So we're going to go down here. Sorry. And Mary Lou will change what okay. they say in the book. She kind of likes 5, but they do 4.5, whatever you think is easier. They do 4.5. Width. And the width, the width is about 3. Right here. Length is three, width is 4.5. Okay, I, I hit the wrong thing because I'm thinking backwards. And this okay. one's 4.5. So you've got it set up. And this is where you start. Oh, guess what, guys? We need to change a foot. Oh, uh, yeah. I meant to do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I was trying to get oh, you all ready for sewing. All right, what do we need over here? Okay, this one needs to. Okay. Give me a minute here to un. I must have started because that was a little loose there. We are using the end foot, right? Yes, yeah. this is the end foot because it has the center part right here that can ride on the center of the two ropes together. So put that back on. Make sure it's tight. And when you start it, Luann, you, you're just going to... Lulu. Yeah. <laughs> Lulu. That's what somebody calls me, too. That's what the Corey <laughs> calls her that. So, so we're going to raise this up. Why is that? I wonder if we have this set a little... Let me just look at the... Oh, that's the right presser foot height. Okay. So we push it down, and then you just guide it. It literally right goes here. itself. It's so exactly. easy. You're going to have so much fun. Now, they do tell you to go like this. Go back. Knot it, just like you would any other sewing project. And you just follow, if you can see. Can you see that? Yeah. And just guide it along. And you can go as slow or as fast. I usually go slow to get it started. And you go all the way around. I'm going to take some of that off there because I have a little bit too much tape, I think. Although the tape will pull out without too much. Trouble. So what point do you start to tilt? I think what I would do is go around to this point again, and then when start you do, to tilt. you oh, okay. tilt it up. Okay. Or you can do two rows. It doesn't, you know, I guess what okay. we did, we did two rows around, and then we started to okay. tilt it up. But we'll just, we'll come back and okay. check I'll let on you. you. I'll let you do that. Okay. Okay, so I'm um, sewing out yours. Did you want a different color for the middle one, or are you going to do it on I'm, that? I'm debating. So if I'm going to use the blue, I might use the blue for... I did it with whatever was in there. I just hit it yeah, to go. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Okay, good. That's a color but there's gonna... one more color. Um, they said aqua, but I didn't know if you wanted to use it or not. This part right here. If, in the if, center. I, if I use anything, I'm going to use the blue because Perfect. I'm... If you look at my fabric, so go ahead back over to Mary Lou, and I'll my fabric see. is Blue Ann's doing good here, an aqua and blue, and oh, I am you going to use a blue ribbon Isn't and the fabric yeah, to decorate the So go around the twice, bowl. and then we'll then we'll okay. teach you how to tilt it. Take your time. Just but do this your thing, thing takes you're not on camera. You're good. <laughs> you probably stitched for a few minutes already. It takes a few more to go around. It'll, it'll take okay, time. so while so you're you can... stitching out and she's stitching out, let's go up and sell a few things, and then we'll be back to check on these girlies. Um, first thing in the bubble is the Happy Place CD, which is this particular one we're doing today. So fun. And what you it want comes to do is with just make sure six different designs. Let me just grab it and I'll bring it but back. But as you up go, there. just sort of make sure that the, maybe the, here it is. Stays in the bubble. Well, okay. I've been known to go So the down, first one in so the bubble okay. is the Happy Place CD. It. This okay. is what we're but, doing today. But they give you six designs sort of to do the base. Well, whichever way you, you can do it in five by I'm, seven I'm size, which is what no, Luann's doing, do or you can do the eight by twelve size, which is what Mary is doing. Oh, okay. 
but you want the, the rope to be. No, that's quite. <laughs> Not that I just took her microphone. We're good. It's good. I took hers off. So it's just me. We're all good. Okay. So um, the CD comes with all the formats that you possibly need for your machines. And it comes with a PDF to print out like we did. And we put it in a folder. So you can whip this out anytime you want to make one of these. Mary Lou showed you the chart of if you want to make a coaster, if you want to make a small bowl, you want to make a big bowl, whatever you want to make, you can go to the chart and it will tell you how much rope you need, everything, if you're doing handles. This is really, really informative CD. After that, they also have designs on here for the embellishment kit. Again, you don't have to buy the embellishment kit. You can use your scraps of fabric or anything that you want, but this has the piece of leather in it. It has the wooden buttons, wooden beads, and some tassels. And in this CD, they give you designs for the embellishment kit that are also on this stick. So you'll get um, a little lemon here. So if you wanna make the lemon bowl, this is how they have you make it on a piece of leather. Let me see if you can overhead that. So they'll have you sew it on a piece of leather. They even include the grommets. Everything sews out on the leather and then you'll attach it onto your bowl just by sewing it. They have lemons. They have a little flower. This one is the little flower which would just decorate any bowl. They have the one that says handmade with love which is next. And that one is right here. And it kind of gives you like a little Sasha Co kind of stitch. It looks like you did it by thing, but it's all done in the hoop. We love that. A little heart, handmade with love. The next one is the medallion one. You could do this one on a um, piece of leather or a piece of fabric. And you could put this on the medallion bowl with a nice wooden button. Then there's one that says stitch from the heart, kind of like the one that says um, handmade with love. This one says stitched with from the heart. And then there's a sunshine. So cool. And again, you can use any design you want on these leathers. You can embroider anything you want on these leathers. So, so cool. So this is the CD. It comes with the two sizes again for your bases. It comes with all these designs in here. The, um, the lemon and strawberries right here. It comes with the, there's a better picture of them, lemons and strawberries. It comes with the little birdie. This flower one is this one here, which we've done. It's an applique pieces of fabric. You could do it to match someone's kitchen or somebody's home. That's applique flowers. Comes with this cute little birdie. This one is really pretty one to do. It also comes with my sewing space is my happy place. You could do this in two sizes. What a great gift for all your sewing friends. You could make them now and have them done by Christmas. You're in. <laughs> That's a cute one. And then Hello Sunshine, which is the one we did in the big size and the small size. So good. So, so good. We love this. I think that's, oh, and the medallion. That's the one we're doing today um, on Mary Lou's machine. So they give you a lot of ideas. You can put them in a wooden hoop. You can make the bowl. You can put them on an apron. You can put them on a tote bag. All these designs, you can do whatever you want with them. Okay, um, you did the embellishment kit in the bubble? Okay, so the next is going to be the Project Rope, which is the Kimberbell brand. You can buy your own if you want. They have ones out there. We're also selling a Mountain Thread Company one today, which is what Mary Lou made all of these from. They're a little bit sturdier than the uh, clothesline that you're going to get at like Walmart or Target. Um, this is quarter inch, 100 feet of it. 100% cotton, so yes, you can dye this. I um, saw some people were posting online how they used RIT dye, and they dyed their clothesline, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So you can make your bowls with a um, colored one, 
Amazon does sell some colored threads. Um, it's everywhere now, but Kimberbell's brand is the one we really like. It's really, really sturdy. It's a little brighter and whiter than the normal clothesline. And they just do everything perfect because it's Kimberbell. <laughs> so um, this project rope is in the bubble now if you want to join us with the Kimberbell one. Well, let's go back over and put Luann on the camera. <laughs> okay, here you go, Mary Lou. So see how she started? She went around it twice, and now she's just starting to fold it up. Here's yours. Oh. So I'm she's just starting to hold it up so it's making the bowl shape. So you just take your time and you go around and fold it, keep it holding it up and it will make the bowl shape. Is this so cool? This is. I'm telling you. Okay, so we'll come back to her and we'll go over to Mary Lou's. Let's check out hers and what she's doing. As I told her, it the first time I did it, I went so slow trying to, well, we to do. do it just and you will, you'll get comfortable with it, yeah. but you just take your time uh, and you're just taking your time. Yeah. Isn't it fun though? Yes, it is. It's mesmerizing because you just want to watch it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. It's great. Oh, no, that's fine. So now she's doing that cute little medallion. Uh, she changed her color thread to a little bit darker. So she's got the teal and the navy blue in there, which is going to match her fabric perfect. Which one you look? Oh, so pretty. That'll so be good, darn good. I think. Do you want to talk about how they how you wrap the cord while oh, I? Oh, I could. Yeah, I have she it right has here. it already. Okay, she has some ideas how you can put fabric in the middle of some of your bowls. Like, let's just show them this one. You can make a couple rows of fabric. So she's going to show you how Kimberbell tells us what to do. Mary Lou did one with the uh, ribbon. You could do ribbon. She's going to show you. And the pink one is just fabric. Or just fabric pieces, which is just sporadic pieces of fabric. So she's going to show you how you set that up. Okay, when you're doing Kimberbell, they have you take, a, I think it was about a yard and a half of fabric with the. Mistake. It's just so cool. <laughs> I'm not a yard and a half, one and a half inches of width of fabric. And you take it, you sew it together. And then you turn down a quarter of an inch. Just iron it and then. Yeah. And when you start the ribbon out, I mean the fabric out, they have you, you can use a dab of uh, glue, which I haven't found one that holds it right away. And I'm not messing with hot glue on something like that. So you pin it and they suggest you wrap it around and you try, you have to keep your, your rope straight. And you just keep wrapping it around. And um, I went to Gloria for help on this one. Right. And Gloria said, just take it as wide as you can and just try and wrap tight. So every so often you can put a clip in it to hold it. And then you move on to the next. I think and we're going to do this live today. So when Louie-Ann's ready, to put, add some fabric or Mary Lou's ready to add some fabric, we'll show you again how to do this live. This is just the technique that they use. And what they have you do, like the one, if you're doing the one bowl, I think it was the, the, um, the one we're going to do for, Next week. Is that next week already? Day at the spa. You did 60 inches okay. of rope that you, um, 50 to 60 inches, and I think I got it and they had, around twice. And it went around twice to make that. Is yeah. it not so cool? It's so good. So good. So there you go. You've got it. Now, what I'm going to do with mine is sort of similar to the way I learned to do it first. And that is to use strips of fabric. And when Carol made hers, mm -hmm. the that one right there, she used, um, I don't remember what, what size she said, if it was one inch wide, but she cut it on the bias. And the reason you, for cutting it on the bias, it is so much easier to wrap oh. with hat, without having, if you look the at this, up. Yeah. it sort of gets bunched up in spots, but it actually looks it good on the It still looks cool. Right. Looks good in the We're bowl. just trying to show you tips different of ways different ways. It. So when we do it, we just 
you wrap it ahead of time and just clip it and That's just wrap some cool. more. Now, I think what she said was she had this huge long piece of rope that she wrapped sure, ahead of time. Sure, and had it all clipped just so she could make the whole center of this yeah. um, all fabric. So right. good. Okay, yours is ready for backing. Okay. So let's put that well, on. We didn't and do then the I ribbon, will... but the ribbon's the same this thing. Is so cute. Right? No, this isn't ready yet. This is. Oh, we're this still is doing the next, the next pretty step. stuff. Okay, so then the next thing I did was ribbon. And that's how I, I did this one. I did, I did a fancy ribbon on this. Isn't and I cool? thought, I just want to put so it cool. in a few places. And the ribbon seems to wrap pretty easily, too. That so purple I'm, bowl you did is adorable. So cute. And I think the hardest thing when you're doing something like this is trying to decide where and when. Like yeah. this one, when I first did it, I thought, I'm just put, putting a little bit of color into that just one. sporadically throwing some fabric on there. I yeah. think it looks good. Now, as you can tell, we use variegated thread on these. We are going to use variegated thread today on Mary Lou's. We use plain thread on Luann's just to show you the difference. So that's how you wrap it. So good. So good. Okay, so what's next in the bubble? We'll come back to both of you in a few minutes. Uh, what size ribbon? I used, I think at home I used about a, a quarter inch. I think this is five eighths inch. Five eighths so inch. So it just depends on what you want to do. So I made this one out of a oh. Kimberbell pennant <laughs> that we had. And this is absolutely very cute. It's just what, what Luann's doing. It is a piece of fabric. I blew mine up from the five inch a little bit just to make the wording fit. Yeah. Oh, I was right on it. And I'm, I there we go. So I thought this would be really cute for like hamburger buns or hot dog buns. You know, just throw a couple sacks in there. It has the fabric on the back. And I did it in, in a variegated thread of all yellows and oranges. Just really cute stuff. So if you have any scraps of fabric at home or any like little panels that you don't know what to do with, there we go. You make it on the bottom of the bowl. <laughs> Relish the day. Relish the day. Catch, Catch up, up tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> oh, we have a camera down. This happened yesterday. Okay, that's fine. Just fix the go ahead. You fix that. Yeah. Well, someone um, was asking if we used embroidery thread. Okay, we're back. Okay. Yes, you can use embroidery thread. Um, you can use the cotton threads. Um, Carol's on right now. Those were her bowls. Everybody's complimenting her on them. I asked her, please bring them in. They're absolutely adorable. What do we get over here? I'll zoom in Carol, on Carol says that she will show us how to wrap the rope faster. Ooh, okay. Sounds like a plan, Carol. We're going to be here uh, next week doing the uh, day at the spa. Good. We like all those tips. That's why we do this. So there's Luann tilting her bowl, going around. It's so cool. She's loving it. It's just fun to do. And it, it's just, you're. I, at first I was intimidated, but now it's like once Mary Lou showed me, I'm like, oh my gosh, these are fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we can go over there and then we'll um, put the backing on Mary Lou's and they can watch that. Chill today, hot tamale. <laughs> Judy, she's so funny. Isn't that cool? Yes, I'm going to go home and do one. I know. You're taking that one home. That's yours. This is so fun. I know. So, again, we're doing the big eight. They call it the 8x12, but it's we're using the 8x8 hoop. But if you don't have an 8x8 hoop, you can A, buy one today off of us, or you can use your 8x12 <laughs> hoop. <laughs> so... And the same with the six by six, they call it the five by seven hoop, but we are using the six by six hoop. So cute. It looks like Spirograph. Remember Spirograph? <laughs> when you take the pin, the marker and the pin. That's cute. Oh yeah. The needle size. Okay, so uh, the needles we're using. 80. 12 oh. sharps or just regulars, I'm, universal. I'm using, I'm using the embroidery needle, 80. 8012 embroidery. 8012 embroidery is what we're using today. Um, Mountain Thread Company will tell you to use a jean needle. 
And Kimberbell tells you to use an 8012. They don't specify what kind of 8012, but you, right. you'd want a sharp. Universal, sharp. Sorry. Yes. That's OK. So um, the directions are really, really good on Kimberbell's CD. I mean, print them out, put them in a book. You'll have them, and they tell you what size to make the width of your zigzag stitch, what size needle. They tell you everything. So, so good. Somebody said, what is the hoop place? Because she just got on. It's the rope bowls. The happy place. Yep, happy place. I'm yeah, sorry. it's the CD of these bases for the um, rope bowls. And we're selling it today. It's item 100. And then 101 was the embellishment kit. And then 102 is the Kimberbell clothesline. Clothesline, skein, okay. hank, bolt. I don't know what we were calling it. Um, Okay, Mary Lou is ready for her backing. So she'll come over and we'll put the backing on. Or you, I'll come, okay. So she has her backing here. fabrics prepared, both folded in half and pressed, ready to go, just like a mug rug with Kimberbell. Just like Luann put hers, the folds are going to go in the middle and overlap each other about an inch. The top one goes on first, then the bottom one. And remember that start button. Just hold it over this. Overlap it about an inch. Hazard marks. I'm out. Oh, I will do what Kimberbell suggests. <laughs> uh huh. See, Luann's loving it. And I'm going to use what they tell you to do. And they suggest that you put the tape over top, so you don't have to. I don't have to watch it. That's as what Kimberbell tells you to do, even on mug rugs now. They tell you to do that. So that's going to make sure your foot doesn't get caught into that little envelope style. You can always raise your presser foot a little bit if you have to, but we find this works. Just in case you decide to not pay attention. Yeah, exactly. Because, <laughs> you know, we get distracted easily. <laughs> we do. We do. Great gifts. Great, just fun stuff to do. Right, Luann? You're having yeah. fun. Because yeah. at first you're like, oh, my gosh, I never made one. I want to see other made, whatever. And you get intimidated at first. Now you're like, oh, my yeah. gosh, these are fun. <laughs> you go, girl. Um, yeah, we can go back over to Luann for a couple minutes, and Mary Lou's going to flip hers and, I mean, trim them first with the pinking shears, and then um, flip it, and then we'll do the whole hot glue thing again with the, um, I'll do I'll it be this careful. time. <laughs> no, I need to have something that pushes it in. Okay, so here's your little bit. Thank you. And we're going to take our pinking shears. And we're going to trim it just like we did on the small one. She'll just go around about an eighth of an inch. It's easier to start from the back, looking at the back of it, uh -huh. so you can follow the line an eighth of an inch, and then that way you don't cut your stitches. There you go. Okay. Let's check out this bowl. Look at Lou Ann go. I'm going. I'm telling you. Isn't it fun? It is very much. I told you, it's just, uh, it's just so fun. Such a good craft. This is why you need two embroidery machines and two sewing machines. So you could be doing these all at the yeah. same time. <laughs> okay, so Mary Lou is going to trim that and flip it and let's sell a couple items. So I think the shape form is next in the bubble. Okay. I think, I don't know, you have to tell um, me. Okay, I'll tell you. Okay. Okay, so this shape form interfacing, I believe, is the next item. I'm trying to do everything in the order we used it. Uh, this is the hard, like, Peltex. Uh, what else do they call this stuff in some of the purses? It's just the harder. But this is Kimberbell's brand. It's called shape form interfacing. It's 14 by 28. It's ideal for projects that need structure inside boxes and bags. And this is our base. So this is what we're going to use in the base of both of these two layers. That's what they call for. So um, you can buy this today and you'll get a 14 by 28 piece. That'll get you a few bowls. 
How wide is the zigzag stitch? I believe it's 4.5 by 3. And the book tells you that. Decker Bond. Thank you, Alice. It's Decker Bond is another name for um, what you can use inside bags. Okay, what's the next item there? Okay, so we are using the 6 by 6 and the 8 by 8 hoop. Again, you can use your 5 by 7 and your 8 by 12, but you know us, we like these perfect. So here is our 6 by 6 is in the hoop first. This does not come with any machines. So it's a great one. I use it for all my tea towels. I use it for so many projects. I just like everything perfectly square. Um, but this is 6 by 6 which is what Luann's using. And the next one's gonna be eight by eight, which is what Mary Lou's using. It's for the bigger base. Okay. Okay, so um, we put this in no show. This is what Mary Lou used in hers. Luann and I used the cutaway. Kimberbell calls for cutaway. No show is cut away. It's just a lighter weight cutaway, but it all works fine. It all works fine. So this is the no show brand. It's 12 inches by 10 yards. I'm sure everybody has no show or a cutaway of some sort. You can use either. It works fine. Okay, so I have a bunch of thread in today. Um, I only put in some cotton threads and some variegated threads to show you. Again, you can use embroidery thread. We're using embroidery thread. So this is Mettler's. Um, this is a really good just cotton thread. Okay, so this one is like a creamy color. Um, I'm just gonna set it there, maybe he can see it. So if you're gonna do, you wanna match up your cording perfect, you can use like that creamy color. That's what Luann's using today. You can also do white, which would be next in the bubble. Um, again, if you want to show it a little bit, you can use a white. This is just a cotton thread. You make sure your bobbin matches whatever thread you use on top, you put in the bottom. So that way your front of the bowl, inside the bowl, and the outside of the bowl will match. Okay. Okay, I also put this in because this was a really good set that Gloria had in. Um, it is a superior neutrals or all cotton threads, but look at those colors. They're absolutely gorgeous. You've got your black and your white, but you've got like a, a cream and like a tan and a light gray and a dark gray. So these are perfect for a zigzag stitch on any of these bowls. It's all neutral. I just made one for a wedding and I just used a little bit of a, a creamy gray and it was perfect. Gave it a little bit of color, but it wasn't bold. Okay, so the Filtec bobbins, that's fine. It's behind the clips. So if you're just using this white thread, you can just do your Filtec pre wand bobbins. That's all we're using in ours. And that way your outside of your bowl and your inside of your bowl will match. So this is the class 15. This is for all the baby lock machines. There's eight in here. It's pre wound, ready to go. Pop it in your machine and you are ready to sell. There it is, Filtec bobbins. Okay, so I put in the my favorite purple scissors, of course, because the um, trimming of that stabilizer is a little difficult to do with the snips. So I like these patchwork scissors. You know we use them for everything. I had to trim two layers of this shape form. That's my favorite go-to scissors. I use that for batting. I use that for everything. We love those purple scissors. Okay, Mary Lou insists on having these wonder clips because you saw how she was wrapping all of the uh, ribbons or the fabrics around. You want to clip as you go to hold it in place. We love these clips. You don't get stabbed like you do with pins. <laughs> we just, uh, Gloria and Joni use wonder clips for everything. So we sell them in bulk now. I believe you get 100 in here, uh, assorted colors. It's a really good deal. You'll use them for every project. Okay, are we on variegated thread yet? Uh, yes, we're on to uh, needles. Needles, okay. So uh, Mary Lou did touch base on the needles. We have some um, 9014 uh, two packs. There's going to be two packs of the Jean Denim needles. This is what Mountain Thread Company will tell you to use, and that is uh, their cotton 
clothesline. We're going to sell shortly, but they tell you to use this jean needle. You can use a sharp needle. You can use a jean needle. You can use an embroidery needle. Um, we're using the 8012 universal needle. That works fine. That's what Kimberbell tells us to do. You will get a two pack of these. Here's also the 8012, I believe is next. Or no, do we have 8012 or 100? Uh, 8012, I thought it was a... It is 100. 100. Did you want this one in, the Jean 100? Yes. Okay. The Jean one. The Jean 100 that, is... That is what... Um, Mountain Thread. Mountain Thread recommends. Okay, this is what Mountain Thread re um, recommends, and that's going to be... Uh, that thread will be showing... Ne I mean, that cord will be showing next. The next one up is the Sharp. We put that in because that's what Mary Lou is using today. An 8012 Universal Sharp Needle. That's a one pack, that one. Okay, my favorite snips, of course, you know we love these. We use them for everything. If you were doing any of those applique pieces, like this little um, coaster, all that little fabric on there, you've got to have your snips ready to go for that because you need to have those to snip all around those little fabrics. We use those applique scissors, so, the Fomori ones. We got more in. If you do not have these yet, you, you must get these. Soon? They're That's fabulous. To, They've I got think. curved. They're serrated. They're that's, perfect. That's the right. And that's where they they tell you to start. Oh, okay. So I'm like right here. Like right here. Purple, right purple thing. Okay, the that. reason so, I put the purple thing like in was you because in of okay. the um, May uh, mini quilt has some flowers that are the bobbin work fringe and uh, one of our customers Marilyn came in and said she uses the purple thing to fluff her flowers can you hand me that mini quilt oh yeah you could just zoom in on it see those flowers how they're like all fringy she used the purple thing to pick those up Mary Lou used the tweezers but um, we had the purple things, the thang, so I wanted to show you guys. I did use the purple thang on that thang. one. Thang? Thang yeah. on that one. Yes. <laughs> it is a thang. And this is a local. This was from our, our Little Foot quilt shop. It's, they're right here in Evan City, so we like to support our local people, too. So if you don't have the purple thang, you need to get one because it's a great little tool to have in your sewing. Okay, so she's getting ready now to do the wrap. Whoop, whoop. Let's go over here. And I'm going to give her... Those are um, those are pinking shears to pinking trim shears. it. I think I accidentally hit pinking shears instead of the That's what we want, pinking shears. Okay. But that's okay. We're going to go back over to Luann for I a couple minutes now and so. show you. Okay. I know Littlefoot's closed, but it, we, they still this sell these it items. Easier for you to... <laughs> okay, so come on over to Mary Lou and Luann and check this out. They're going to add some fabric. This is so cool. Look at your bowl, Luann. I know. I love Look it. Look how nice it is. <laughs> I know. And they tell you to start on the right hand side maybe you want to go in no, here that's i don't know how you're going to get in there maybe down through yeah. okay pj is so going to get that camera work going look at that shot good job just holding i just want to sort of clip that so it holds and then you're just going to start wrapping okay and carol this is just how i learned so you'll have Louis to show Ann, us uh, you're ahead of me <laughs> i've never done fabric ones yet uh -uh. so this is uh a first for me to see. You, you want to keep your your cording straight. Okay. And you just keep wrapping and clipping know, along. And clip it. And Gloria said, take it long. Okay. So you're just gonna go like that, and every so often throw a clip on it. You know, to hold that was it good, and PJ. just keep going that's and do no, do that's perfect. Depends on how far you want to go. Nice I would go work. at least to here. <laughs> they love it. Okay. To start. Okay. But when you're wrapping, you almost have to hold on to the whole thing so okay. you don't. Otherwise, it's real hard to. That is so cool. I'm loving this. Me too. <laughs> I'm telling you, I couldn't uh, venture on the fabric wrap yet, so I wanted to wait till Mary Lou showed us. <laughs> 
So again, that is what, two inches wide, folded down? One, it's one and a half and a quarter, quarter inches inch folded, folded down. down. So it's one and a half strip of fabric, With a quarter inch ironed down to give you that edge. If you don't want a finished edge, you can leave it and it would be like a frayed, oh, edge. frayed edge. And it would look yeah. vintage. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. it, and it looks fine. Mm -hmm. we, and some we, of those bowls are cool, like vintage frayed. We like yeah. that. And sometimes if you pull yourself back further, so you, I'm just having her do to here to see where we're at. Sure, and sure. So maybe if she gets to this part on the bowl and we want another, we have enough to do a whole nother row, then she can do a little That's bit good. more. So Mary Lou has put a clip where she's saying to Luann, just to run your fabric down to that clip. Let's see how it looks as we sew it around and then we can always go and add more. So cute. We're, next week, we're going to do 50 to 60 inches all at one That's time. Right, for, for the, the two rows of purple. Yes. And That's in day at the spa. And I did 60 inches on that one and ended up only needing 50. Okay. So I had to unwrap. And when you unwrap, you're going to find the thread, fabric thread stays behind and you have to clip it off, but it, it's fine. I do want to remind everybody, next week, we're starting at 1 o'clock instead of 3 because it's a uh, event and we need that extra time to do all three projects. And it is very forgiving. If it's not perfect, mm -hmm. it seems to catch it and it looks good on both sides. So good. So you're doing good. As I said, she's a step further than me. I have not done fabric wrap yet. <laughs> That's okay. very cool. Well, this is the first. You're doing good. Okay, while she's wrapping fabric, will you show them again how we did the cording out, making it flat? Oh, yes, because I'm going we're to ready for this. Mm -hmm. And I've got mine ready. I've got, I haven't labeled it yet, but this is top, bottom, left, right. Left, right. Mm -hmm. And it is sort of hard. Somebody apparently said something about the fact that a little bit of my blue or whatever it's color was going to show. that foam super close. But and, and it's, it's fine. fine. It, to me, it just adds a little it's more. It's homemade. It's made what with the love. Heck, people? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so let me get the rope. Okay. Now, how much rope do you have cut for yours? I didn't. I didn't. Okay. We're I'm just going to go with go, it. I'm just going to go with it and see what happens. Look how cute that is. I love the colors. I think it's going to be nice. So again, I'm going to pull the center out of here. I'm going to pull it down about like that. Cut it off. All that inside you're going to cut out and then push that back up so that you have it flat that it can go in the back. I'm like, who it. thought of that, Kimber Bell? That's great. <laughs> Love their directions. And there we go. It's flat again right here. So that is what I'm going to tuck up into this side right there. And I think I'll... I think I can do it. You can hot glue it without I'm me. I'm going to hot glue You're not going to burn your fingers? Burn my fingers. Well, I don't guarantee that I won't burn my fingers, but I'm going to, whoops. Okay, Luann's still wrapping. She's got a, about another foot to go. So that's good. We've got our, Luann brought us in this Kimber Bella cookie cake, which is rather nice. Okay. I'm going to just go like this and just put a squirt. little squirt of, Oh, there it goes. Okay. Just a little bit on the right here on the side. That's all. So I don't, and I'm going to feed that right. Right, that flat part right in there, and then press it. It's genius that they came up with that. And then I'm just going to make it all nice and flat. Oh, I got to get you. And it's stuck in there, and then I'm going to start stitching right on that side. But I have to set up for sewing. So we're ready to go. Okay. And again, I'm just going to do a quick top, bottom, left, right. That just you helps you know where to stop. Frame off. I'll 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 be okay. I think. Okay. Looking good, Luann. So Mary Lou has opted to do variegated thread. So she has oh. made her bobbin and her top thread match. 
So we're going to get her all ready to sew. She's got her foot on. It's the regular end foot. And we're going to go to sewing. And the width was 4.5. Mm -hmm. We're going to pick 10, which is our zigzag. We're going to go to 4.5. And the length is going to be a 3. And she's ready to go. Okay. Oh, oh so fun. So I've got her. Okay. You got down to your clip? Okay, let's get her started and then we'll be back over in a minute. So she's going to start. Right. You're going to knot it first. You're going to see that she's using the variegated. That one's going to be so pretty. Now, how many times are you going to go around before you start folding? Probably maybe two, three, That's what maybe I like. more. All depends on how I feel. That's right, because these are your own creation. You can do whatever you want. It's so sturdy. I know. That's that Kimberbell clothesline. Uh, the Mountain Thread Company is absolutely sturdy, too. Some of the other ones, like I said, at Walmart and Target are not. Oh, so yeah, you if, wanna... we had, if we had Gloria's I bowl. Her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, her little wimpy bowl, she calls it. <laughs> her red one. And you know what? I, I'm okay with the fact that a little bit of that green is showing mm -hmm. in there. because One, because um, I'm fine. using a variegated thread, and it adds yeah. a little bit of something to it. So the mountain thread, do you have, does it have a coil inside also? Like no, Kimberbell? it does not. They didn't like the coil. I mean, whatever how do you, you start that center. Oh, here's how I start the Mountain Thread Company. You do about a one inch, and you wrap it around, and you're going to zigzag to hold it together, and then you just start wandering. You just keep going. So this is that. Mountain Thread Company's idea. You make the base with the rope. Kimberbell makes a base with fabric in this and this shape form. A, they're, they're, they're both, both fun. They're both fun. They're both fun to make. You can zoom in right here. PJ, at these two are the mountain thread. They are just the th thread itself. This is the base for Kimberbells. You can choose whatever one you like. And I bet you any money that Mountain Thread Company would like the Kimberbell because it's so firm. Right. Where where the other ones with the the coil inside or whatever what do you call the inside? Yeah, it makes it flimsy. Right. And these these are the these other are one sturdy. is very sturdy. It's it's yeah. This is all just cotton, so I'm assuming it's all you woven. Can, you together. can flatten this if you want to use this on one of your Kimberbell bowls. You can certainly do this. This is all flat. There's not like a coil inside there. So Actually, you can certainly glue that in. I bet you I could do that. To a back I, of maybe a one. I'll if, do that on another one. If you wanted to use the Kimberbell But that bases. is only three eighths. I mean three sixteen. Three sixteenths mm -hmm. where this is quarter. A four sixteenths, which quarter is inch. a quarter. Yeah. So the Kimberbell is a little bit bigger. Okay, so can you see that variegated thread? PJ's got a great shot of it. It's just so pretty doing the zigzag. We have the variegated thread for sale today. Look at that. Oh, is that cute? Trim that little piece of thread. So she's coming right to where she started. And this is how she, this is perfect shot, PJ, because they can see how they meet and go on to the second ring. Look at that shot. Oh my gosh. So good. She's just going right into that second run now. And they use the end foot just because it kind of gives you that center guide just to follow. So cute. Okay. So okay, so let's go back go? to Luann so she yep. can get her started on on the fabric one. Yep. So what you can do, take a few more stitches, getting close. I'm sorry. Take a few more stitches so that you're getting closer. And 
Okay, now you can, I sort of take the clip off and, oh, and that looks good. So just push it up against it and just do the same thing you were doing, except now you're going to go over fabric. So one side will be fabric, one side will be rope. And she's staying tilting up at this point because you're making the bowl, but you're just putting these couple rows of fabric in there. Is this not slick? Oh my I goodness, love this I love it. I know, it's pretty I like good. This fabric I thought it would be pretty with the uh, clothesline, yeah. I am selling the fabric today by the yard. If you guys like what Luann's using, I have it with the navy background and the and gray background. I thought it looked pretty with the uh, rope because it's a tiny print. Just keep around to that part and see where you are with the thread, and I'll do mine. Okay, so PJ, we can sell a few more things while these girls are sewing. So I think, I want to say, is the mountain thread next? Uh-oh, okay. That's fine. No worries. That's okay. Okay, so what would be uh, next in our little bubble? Did that? This. Oh, okay, good. Okay. So the Kai scissors are the patchwork scissors that I trimmed the shape form with. I use it for batting. I use them for everything. I love the angle of these. I love the color of these. I love these. We we have these everywhere in the shop. We use these for everything. The next item is going to be the Kai pinking shears, which I put in today because as you saw, we used those to trim the circle around so we didn't have to clip, 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 clip. Of course, Kimber Bell suggests you use pinking shears. So this is the um, Kai original 5000 series pinking shears. Lovely, lovely. You can't go wrong with Kai. They're just really good scissors. Okay. Okay, so this is the Mountain Thread Company that, uh, that uh, Mary Lou was talking about that she made these cute little ones with. And as you can see, the, the clothesline itself is a little creamier of a color than the Kimberbells. Kimberbells is, is a little more white. Uh, this is a very cute do-it-yourself little tiny rope bowl beginner set. This little cute kit. It will make three little bowls like this. So if you want to just try this out, this is a cute little kit to get. It gets you 15 yards of 3 16 100% uh, cotton braided rope, a heavy duty sewing machine. Oh, this is what you need. And then um, it doesn't come with a sewing machine. It comes with just the, th the <laughs> just the um, rope and the directions. <laughs> so uh, really cute. It'll give you uh, three little bowls and the directions on how to make these cute little bowls. So that's a first little um, beginner kit. The next item in the bubble is their thread on a spool. This one is 316th braided, made in North Carolina, and this one is 200 feet. So this is double of what Kimberbell is, but you can see it's a little skinnier, but it's just as heavy, and it's 316 so this is a quarter. Lovely, lovely, both of them are lovely. Either one that you wanna do, Mary Lou loves them both, she uses them both. She actually went to a class in North Carolina for the Mountain Thread, and that's where she learned to make these. This is the one Carol used on this one. Look at this. I mean, look at that braid around there. I just can't. She, that's amazing. Look at that. She braided her little rope around, and she used it on this one also. And we're using Kimberbell today. It's so good. It's so good. Either one is so good. Okay, what would be next? Okay, I put in some things that are related to this kind of technique. So we have this huge um, rug that uh, Renee taught this years ago. So if any guys remember Renee Williams that comes in here, she would teach these. Uh, she made placemats, table runners, rugs, everything 
kind of the same concept using the coil method of sewing with a zigzag stitch. This is a beautiful rug she did with a kaif charm pack, I mean, kaif jelly roll. It's so good. This is the pattern she followed that's in the bubble now. It's the jelly roll rug. You use a jelly roll and it teaches you how to go around and uh, do the same technique as uh, the bowls. But it's a rug. How fun is that, right? I think they're so pretty. Um, there are some gadgets I think we probably have in next that help you keep your cording straight. Did you get the sasher and stuff in? Okay, so the Jelly Roll sh sasher is um, the one item that they suggest you use with this pattern, that you fold your Jelly Roll in here and it kind of guides through as you're sewing. So this is the Jelly Roll sasher, very, very cute little gadget. The tube maker will also do the same thing. It will kind of fold in your fabrics as you go. So this just helps you do your uh, fabrics around. So I put those gadgets in and I think I have one more book that has um, for ropes making. And this is really, really cool. Gloria just got this book in, The Rope Sewing Projects. So many cool ideas. Look at this one with the cell phone charger. They left it open there. Stop the cuteness. <laughs> you gotta zoom in on that. Okay, look at this one for a cell phone. They left it open here so that they could put their USB cable through there and charge it. Stop the cuteness. Coasters, tote bags, bowls. All kind of ideas in this book. Look at these little lamps. Little, oh my gosh, stop, how cute. So this is a really good book. She just got it in. People are, this is making a comeback, this rope making bowls. Um, this is something they did years ago, but of course they have uh, totally come out with new. Look at this, this like tells you exactly the length of stitches, what they're gonna look like. So, so cute. Tells you how to begin it. Mm -hmm. How to tr how to do everything with it? We got you covered with the other bases. This yeah. adds scraps of fabric. Oh, did I stop it? Oh no. my gosh! Look you're at good. how cute. Stop here. So little planters. Get there, this is a really good book. Thing. So if you're just beginning and you want to get in on making these uh, for gifts and for home deck, it's really really a cute book. Oh my God! Stop these little planters. Really good book. So uh, rope sewing projects zigzag sixteen. Uh, home accessories to make with simple stitches. Okay, what would be next there, PJ? Oh. Okay, so I put in the variegated thread that Mary Lou's using today. We have in three different sets. Are these the ones that are open? Oh, no. No. Yeah. Okay, so the first one in the bubble is the 12 set. So we have... They're, they just come in various colors. You, you don't know what you're going to get, but these are absolutely perfect for bowl making. We have used all of these for different projects. We use these for the embossed bunny towels, like in the background that made it look plaid. So the first item in has 12 spools of variegated. I think I'm going to have PJ zoom in on Mary Lou's right now so you can see what the variegated looks like. Sorry. <laughs> I like having jumping from camera to camera. But since we're on variegated threads, we want to show you what it looks like. Oh, Mary Lou, look at that. Okay, he's coming over. We're running him ragged today. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> can you see the... If you can see the... Yep. Yeah. So you guys see that variegated? How cool is that? I'm going to start. The rug making is actually a wrapping. different batting. I'm going to be selling in a little bit, Judy. It's not rope. It's batting. You got to come back? Yep, got to come back now. I'm going to do the 25 pack. Yes, I won't make you run too much more. Okay, so the next box is going to be the 25 pack. So if you want more than 12 and you want all different colors, there is a 25 box that has a little bit more 
colors. And again, you can use this for embroidery, sewing, anything. It is variegated thread. I absolutely love these colors. This is what Mary Lou's using today. It's really, really pretty. But if you want more, we got a 50 pack. And that one is next. If you are in need of variegated thread and you just can't live without it, you're gonna want this 50 pack. And this is two layers of all colors of variegated thread. Look at that. You're sure to find a color in here that you like. And for sure. In in those, we found the two that will look really good with the fabric that we're going to sell. Okay, so Mary Lou zipped out this on a piece of fabric scrap today because we were looking to get Luann some um, variegated thread. Uh, she's she's using white right now, but if she used variegated with that fabric that we're selling, that would be look beautiful. at this one right here. It has the pinks, the blues, the yellows. It's just perfect for that fabric. I mean, this is so cute. It's so good. So you can have a 12 pack, a 25 pack, or a 50 pack, but it's perfect thread for these projects. Let's get, can we go check out the girls again? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at Lou Ann's going. Oh, she's on her second row of fabric wrapped cording. Look at that. Go Lou Ann. That is beautiful. I know. Isn't it fun? I'm telling you, that's really cute. Very cute. So she's got like two layers of fabric wrapped, and then she's going to go right into doing some more layers of the regular cording, and it's going to be finished. So good. How about Mary Lulu? What are you uh, doing over here? Me. I messed up here. Oh, I no. I didn't mess up. I just didn't catch the... Okay, she's adding in a piece of fabric. What else are we selling? Let's sell a few more things while she gets things under control there. I think I only have a couple more things to sell, right? There it goes. Okay. Okay, I put the clear blue tiles in today because they came out with a new expansion pack too. So the first one in is going to be the essential set, which is the one you have to buy first because it's the one with the USB stick with all the, the designs on it. So you will get the USB stick, you'll get all the designs, you'll get the book with all of the directions in it. You can do all over quilting or you can do custom quilting. They teach you in this book how to do both. So this is the clear blue tiles with the templates and the USB stick and the marking pens. This is called the essential set. You must have this first. It comes with winter, spring, summer, and fall little designs. It comes with swirls and loops, all kind of things to do any size placemat table runner quilt that you wanna do. These are remarkable. There is no beginning and end that you have to meet. They all just blend. It's a great, great concept. The second one in is the expansion pack one. This is for the people who have up to a size 14 hoop. You will get a bunch of templates in the essential pack for the smaller hoops, but this is for the bigger hoops. These are templates that you actually mark your project with and that's how you place your embroidery designs on this. This concept is great. These have been flying out of here because they're just so easy to use for quilting. Now the expansion pack two is what we just got in and this is for the big dog for those who have the up to the 16 inch hoop. So they've made templates now that are that big so you can quilt and do things in a 16 inch grouping. It's so good, so good. So that is expansion pack two. We just got these in. They're the hot item out there. Okay. Okay, Mary Lou's gonna come over and show you how we run that off. Okay. We're going to, maybe we'll take it just one more. Mm -mm -mm. Do you wanna sit here? I'm, I'm good. I'm just going to, okay. we're just going to go a little bit further. Okay. Whoops. That's okay. It's just, let's lift the presser well, the needle just a little bit. I'm going to raise it by hand. Without catching that. 
I forgot to show you how to finish the end, but that's okay. We'll just end it a little further, and it doesn't really matter how you, because you're going to do another row of the, mm -hmm. we're just going to tuck that there, lower the presser foot, and we'll catch that on the way back. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, got it. Mm -hmm. So now she's just going to go and use the regular clothesline rope again and just start doing her zigzag. Oh my gosh, how cool. Oh, I love that more the more I look at it. <laughs> I know, I love it. It's perfect for these bowls. We tried to pick a small flowery print, so that's why I am sawing it by the yards today. And when you come all the way to this side, then you're and just going to tuck, tuck that. that under. Yeah. Oh, is that pretty? Okay, so how are you going over there, there, Miss Mary um, Lou? I'm going okay. Okay, let's check gonna... in on her, and then we'll sell the rest of the stuff. She just did some sporadic pieces of fabric just to give it some color. I only did one so far. So she just did, what, like a 12-inch piece or something? It, pro it, it probably was about 12 inches, but it only... That's okay, let me let Maybe me if get you go around. over here. Can you your chair over? Yeah, we're good. Okay. I told you you'd have fun. <laughs> I know, isn't it cool? Very cool. Okay, okay. So I'm just going to throw in random pieces of the fabric and some ribbon. Oh, you're doing to, ribbon too. I'm doing look both. at you, fancy. Hey, I don't know what it's going to look <laughs> like. I'm just trying. This is the thing, you can do these techniques and it's just so cool, just so fun to play with. I want to make sure I catch that on the way back through. And I'm using the raw edge method. So you did not fold it down? I did not fold okay, this so down. Okay, so it's gonna oh. look like vintagey fraying. I'm sorry, I got in the way. I am just using a strip like this, that's about what? Is that a five eighths, half yeah. an inch, five eighths, and then I'll use the ribbon. Well, the ribbon's five eighths, so I think that's about five eighths too. And in a little bit, I'll throw some ribbon on here. Very cool. So you can do anything, anything with these. How cool is it? Just making all your scrap just, fabrics. If you've got a favorite fabric that goes with your living room or kitchen, you can throw some of that in here. You can just go crazy with this. I'm going to do this. Of course, you see, I'm I'm working at an angle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's She's okay. got it. She's got it. That's okay. I think I need a clip or two. I'll get over here, and then you can have all the same thing. Okay. All right, so she's going to add a little bit of ribbon into hers. So we're going to stop back and see her in a little bit. Uh, and see how that ribbon looks. So come on back up here, PJ. We'll sell the rest of our stuff. Look at Lou Ann's. Woo! Okay, this will be the last bit that we're going to sell, and then we'll just finish up. Okay, so I believe you have this in next, the design set? Oh, okay, good. So May has a dealer exclusive, and yes, it is this adorable little paisley stitched fanny pack, pouch, whatever you want to call it. Mary Lou rocked it out this weekend and it's adorable. So you can buy the design today for $10, but you will not receive it till May 1st. It is the dealer exclusive for May 2024. It is called the Little Paisley Bag. It's all lined and they show you how to do this little belt bag on here. It is so cute, so good. Sure. Look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh, right? So a lot of the girls will wear it um, crossbody now, like this. Some of the girls will wear the fanny pack way. They're coming back. So these are really a really cute idea. Look at that stitching. So good. So the design's $10. If you want to purchase that, you can't make it till May 1st, but you can buy it today and we'll send it to you May 1st. The only thing we're selling with it 
is what it's made out of. The zipper pouch large, seven by 10, is the Kimberbell pouch they use. It's pretty much already made for you. The zipper is in, the lining is in, it's all surged around. You do your embroidery and then you do the flips. So you're gonna use one of these bags and then you're going to use the belt. They come out with the belt. It's like seat belt material and it has the clip in here and then you'll make your own little fanny pack to be adjustable. So cute. So cute. Okay, so that is May. Now, this is what I was going, is this in next? Okay, so this is the roll of batting that you use for the rugs. You don't use clothesline, but you still use the zigzag stitch and you can still do it the way we're kind of doing that. But this is what they say to use. This is two and a quarter, 50 yards of this Bosol, 100% organic cotton blend. It is just a little kind of like a jelly roll, and you will just wrap your material around this batting. And this is what you make placemats out of, and um, table runners, and rugs, everything out of this stuff. So I only put it in today because I think it's really cool that it's kind of like the same concept of the zigzag stitching. Okay, are we doing fabric or stabilizer? Um, okay, so the wash away, sticky back wash away stabilizer. This is what you're gonna need to make that fanny pack. Mary Lou said this is what they called for, this is what you're gonna need to use, so I put it in today, so if you order it today, you'll have it by the time you get your design. This is a 12 inch by five yards of sticky back wash away. This is stuff that you're going to score, you're going to float your item on, you're gonna do your sewing, and then when you rinse it or pat it, it's gonna dissolve the stabilizer. You will not have the stabilizer in. Really, really cool stuff. They make a sticky back tear away. You tear it away. This is the wash away. You wash it away. So they uh, called for that for the fanny pack. Okay, ding, 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 Lou Ann. This comes in two new sizes. Oh, nice. I know, this is her favorite stuff. It is. Okay, so Project Batting now comes 40 inch by 40 inch, which is a bigger roll than our normal one. And we have the 60 inch by 60 inch, which is what coincides with those one hoop wonder quilts. They end up being 50 by 50, so they've given you the 60 by 60 batting. So these are the new Kimberbell batting. Everybody that has this batting, I know you guys love it. We love the quality. We love having these little rolls for all these projects. It's just really, really good. So we have it in the two new sizes in our house right now, and we are ready to ship it. All right, he did put in the medium cutaway pre-cuts. This is what Luann used in her hoop, the six by six hoop. This is the medium cutaway. So it's just cutaway sheets. Again, Mary Lou used no show. That's also a cutaway. So it's all your preference of what you like to use, but this is what they called for. So I threw in the, the sheets that we have. They're perfect for a six by six hoop, five by seven hoop, medium cutaway. All right, and next I am selling the fabric. So which one's first? Okay, so this one that we're using is the one Luann's using. Okay, this is a vintage flora. It is a line of fabric that Kimberbell came out with. I put it in today thinking it would look really cute with these bowls. So if you like it and you like Luann's bowl, you're gonna wanna buy this. If you, what number are we on this? So if you want a yard of this, you type in sold 142 and you will get a yard of it. And that will get you a lot of bowls and a lot of fabric for your middle of your bowl. So this one is the navy blue one with all the pretty posies on it. The next one is the same print, but it has like a white and a gray background. So this is a little bit lighter. If you don't like the darker one, this is a lighter one. It will absolutely go really good with the clothesline though. That's why we put these in here. So if you do the clothesline, look at how cute that's gonna look. This is also a vintage flora line. This is item 141. So if you want this, you'll get a yard of it. Just type in sold 141. Now Mary Lou is using this pretty one and this is one of the new Kimberbell basics. And it was just a real pretty like tealy blue with a navy starburst on it. So we put it in today because we're using it with the medallion. So this is item 143. 
you can buy it by the yard and it will make a lot of bowls. Look at that, so pretty. Just a cute little navy starburst. It's kind of perfect for that geometric look of that medallion. It's just perfect. We love it. And she picked her threads to match it. Uh, this is one of their new basics. We love it. So this is the only three fabrics I put in today because this is what we're using. But um, it's really, really cute. I think that's everything we're selling, correct? Um, let's, let me make sure here. Um, you had the water-soluble pen. Uh, oh, yeah. Pen okay. So we did put in the water-soluble pen. Uh, some of you will have this with your clear blue tile, the Kimberbell one, but you need this. You saw how Mary Lou marked it, okay, the well, tape, the top and bottom left and right, much. or you mark your rope you where you want to start your fabric and where you don't. The, so this is just a really good here. water soluble one Isn't to have. Stop at the top or the bottom? Right over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to there. Okay, let's go back over and check on the girls and see what they're yeah. doing. We're looking to see where we want to stop this because we didn't really. Sometimes they have you basically stop at the top, okay. which is right here. So you can see how much rope Luann has left. So, so you can stop it soon. Stop it right there, or what? Um, wherever you want to put. How do you want to finish it? Do, like do a, little do a little knot, yeah, knot a little knot or something. Knot. Okay, then wherever you want to go, you just. They say stop to go it. to the opposite side from when you started. Correct. Well. It can be at the top, it can be on the side. If she were going okay. to stop on the side, which would be right here, or you go to the top. Okay, gotcha. So your yeah. tape is still on there. Yeah. yeah. So go to the top, and then we'll end it there. And then, then you zigzag back and forth to attach it. We don't cut the rope until we're ready to design how we're going to finish it. So fun. And when you reach the point where you're going to stop it, you're going to backstitch and knot it just like you would a regular project. I go back and forth a few times. Yeah. Just to. So just knot it, like reverse back and forth a few times, and then that way you'll knot it a little bit. And then you just want to cut it. Stop the cuteness. All right. Lift it up. Look at this bowl. Oh, it's so cute. Stop. Isn't it so cute? Yeah. So she has this little bit of a tail left. So you can braid it. You can just roll it. You could do whatever you want with this little bit of a um, twist if you want. Whatever you want to decorate your bowl with, you don't even have to. You can put a piece of um, leather over it and hide the ending with an embellishment or a bead. But this little cute, like, little knot, whatever you want to do, you just you just go for it and you do it. And Mary Lou's done tight ones. We've done loose ones. We've done oblong ones. And then you'll just kind of, like, tack it and glue it, and you'll be done. But oh, you okay. just do whatever you want. Oh, that's good like that. No, it's a little bit too big. We have to go a little smaller. But how cute is that? You know, you can just do, like, a little rope that you can coil it you could do whatever you want you could braid it and that will finish it and then she'll take her tape off and then she'll just do you can do whatever you want you can uh, take that out and then do whatever you want play with it like a, little... a little knot yeah. yeah it's just so mm -hmm. fun to do and then I just cut this mm -hmm. and then you go to the hot glue gun and you just kind of glue that into into place Perfect. and you're you're done you're going to take your tape off down here and then we'll come back and check it out after you're done gluing and untaping. And let's go over and check Mary Lou. She's adding her little ribbon. She's adding her little fabrics. She's going at it. Someone, Look at how cute that is with their variegated thread. Someone had said that they thought the satin would be harder to work with than the mm -hmm. fabric. Right. It's all in what you want. Okay. You know, we have to plug be... that hot glue gun in, I think. You want me to climb under? I guess. Yeah. I'll do it. PJ could. <laughs> That'll be great. Mm -hmm. And yes, if you had a, um, I think a, a grow grain would work. We were going with what we could find yeah, at the shop. That matched. Yes. We needed a blue of some sort. <laughs> so 
this is the this is made with the batting. Mm -hmm. So you scooch there right a little bit. Yep, just a little. Renee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me. Make sure you're happy with the knot before you okay. glue it. Okay. I sort of let the fabric go. Now, when I was doing the other one, the small purple one, I left gaps in, in the um, ribbon just because I thought it looked cute that way. If something got on them and stained them, you could just spot clean them with a little mm -hmm. bit of Dawn soap and water, I'm sure. And they're just a cotton bowl. Yes, Melissa, you can use the sharp needle any size. We put those in today. Mary Lou's using an 8012. You can use the... It's just what Kimber Bell had suggested on this. And like I said, when you're using mountain thread, they tell you to do a heavy duty needle. Like a which, jean needle, which, which we put jean, in today. Yep. Which is a jean needle. Is it on? Uh, yeah, it is yeah. on. It'll take a minute. It's old. <laughs> So she added fabric and ribbon. So that is just so cool. And the variegated thread, it really made it special. And I might not do another one like this again. You never know. That's right, they're all I... unique. So there's a good picture of some of the fabric and the ribbon. How sweet is that? Once you start these, you're like, I'm addicted. What do you think, Luann? <laughs> Are they fun? Yes. yes. And you'll try big ones. Yes, and Karen, little the ones. satin ribbon would look nice on the spa bowls for sure. Wait, you see our picture for spa day <laughs> that DJ <laughs> took today. <laughs> oh, geez. Is it working? It's not working. Oh, there it goes. I'm working at an angle, so I can't tell if I'm really getting on down the center or not. It should be. A little bit. Okay, it's starting to warm up. And it's just to add a touch of color. That's why I did Yes, the... Louise. If they cut it on the bias, it does wrap a little smoother. That is one of the uh, directions in there. If you want the vintage look, you don't. Uh, you can just leave the fraying go. So and, however you want. And Kimber Bell does not cut it on the bias. They, they don't, don't say it. But um, we just... Carol did. Carol, Carol cut hers on the bias when she yeah. made those pretty bowls. And it just works out a little bit better. So... I don't know how Very far cool. I'll go with this. I'll probably put another it's... color up there. Yeah, so um, it's really cool. Can we just show the base of yours again before we sign off? Because it's just so good with that variegated thread. Mm-hmm. Well, she was, that's what she was saying. And it yeah. picks up the colors in there. So good. And that medallion is one of the ones on the CD. Mm -hmm. And it comes in two sizes, the 5 by 7 and the 8 by 12 So there you go. You can do it. Uh, that's a really pretty gift for someone. Okay. Luann, how are you doing with that knot? Well <gasps> okay, look at Luann's. It's all done. Yay. Yay. Beautiful. So First she just kind of tapped it. it into place. And look at her little fabric in there. I'm so jealous because I was so intimidated to do fabric. And you did it. Yeah, it's easy. It looks so good. I love doing these. I know. <laughs> Need to go home and put a set of bananas in there. You're good yeah. to go. <laughs> All right, Mary Lou, come over here. Thank you, everybody, for joining yes, thank in. Thank you. Uh, oh. In front of the thing. Yeah. It's just Where? This is the window. Oh, that's okay. There we are. Come on over. Hold your bowl. Hold your bowl. We'll show mine so next week. So thank you, Luann, for coming. And thank you for having me. I know, it was fun. It was fun. a good teacher. She is. Oh, that's okay. All right, we're heading off, and we'll see you tomorrow night at 7 o'clock for our favorite things. I know they're going to show more of these boards that are hanging on our wall, and they're going to show some cabinets. So definitely tune in tomorrow. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.